Hello everyone, I'm Supraja and I'm here with Adi. Hi Supraja. Yeah, hi Adi. Uh, we are here to guide you through the installation process of the essential software on a Windows machine, uh, which is a prerequisite for our course. Uh, in this session, we'll take you through the steps to set up everything and ensure you're ready to go. So let's get started. Adi, are you ready? Yes, let me share my screen now. Yeah, yeah, share your screen. So to kick things off, um, head over to the official Node.js website. Yes, 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 Supraja, I'm already there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect. So there you will find two versions, right? Which is LTS and other one is current. Uh, we recommend going for the LTS version for stability. Okay. Uh, sure, Supraja. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and download the Indo Windows installer. It's usually an executable file with the .msi extension. Can you find it? Yes. Absolutely, Supraja. Yeah. Yeah, now we can go ahead and download it to run the installer. Yeah. So this will guide us through the installation process. Um, ready for that? Yes. Uh... Yeah, okay. So as the installer launches, you will see the license agreement into it. Uh, yeah, click next. Okay, done. Yeah. Uh, mail or what, uh, what do I... Uh, yeah, take ready? a moment to read it and when you're ready, click to accept it and click next. Okay, so now here you will need to choose the destination folder where your Node.js will be installed. Usually the default location itself works just fine. Uh, destination folder selected. Yeah. Uh, what's next? Uh, yeah, great. In this step, you will choose the components to install. Uh, make sure to select the option for the Node.js runtime. All set. Uh, yes, Supraja. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, click next and click the install button to begin the installation process. Click install button. Yeah, uh, this may take a moment. Right. Okay, once the installation is complete, uh, it will see the finish button there. Yeah, click that. So Actually, installation yeah. complete, what's left, Supraja? We are almost there, yeah. Next is to make sure everything is set up correctly, open a command prompt. And type node hyphen V, I mean node space hyphen V. Uh, click enter. Yeah, you will see. Yeah, you can see the version there, right? So it's it says that it, you're ready with the installation, and you can also type for npm hyphen v and click enter. Right. Uh, got it. Uh, I see the versions so uh, node.js and npm, and uh, we are good to go, Supraja. Yeah, fantastic job, Adi. Uh, you have successfully installed node.js on your Windows machine, and now we are all set to dive into the world of JavaScript. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, so what exactly is node.js? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Node.js is like the backstage hero for JavaScript. Node.js is a runtime environment that allows you to execute JavaScript code. Okay. Interesting. But why do we need uh, Node.js uh, specifically for playwright testing with JavaScript? Yeah, great question, Nadi. You see, uh, Playwright is actually built to run on the Node.js runtime. So if you want to use Playwright for browser automation using JavaScript, we need uh, Node.js as the foundation. Oh, got it. Uh, uh, so, but what makes Node.js uh, so crucial for this kind of testing? Uh, Node.js, you see, brings a lot to the table. First, it provides the runtime environment needed to execute JavaScript code outside of a web browser. Uh, since Playwright scripts are written in JavaScript, Node.js is the engine that makes it all work. Oh, uh, Suprajan, what about uh, dependency management? I have heard something about NPM. 
Yeah, exactly. Node.js comes bundled with NPM, which uh, stands for Node Package Manager. It's like a super handy tool for managing JavaScript packages. Uh, Playwright itself is distributed as an NPM package, so Node.js helps us easily handle dependencies, including Playwright. Uh, so installing Node.js is essentially setting the stage for uh, Playwright to shine, right? Yeah, absolutely, Adi. It's like uh, preparing the perfect environment for Playwright to do its magic. Uh, Node.js provides the runtime, the tools for managing packages, and the event-driven structure needed to run uh, Playwright scripts smoothly. Oh, got it, Supraja. Uh, so yes. in an action, Node.js is the backbone that makes Playwright with JavaScript possible, right? Exactly. Uh, it's the behind the scenes uh, hero that uh, makes browser automation with Playwright a breeze. Absolutely. Uh, so when it comes to play, uh, writing Playwright JavaScript test scripts, uh, you have got a variety of editors to choose from. Uh, any particular reason you're starting with VS Code, Supraja? Uh, all right, uh, so we have got Visual Studio Code, Atom, Sublime Text, WebStorm, Visual Studio, and Eclipse on the list. Uh, that's quite a lineup. Uh, Visual Studio Code is a standard choice for many developers. It's free, open source, and has a massive community. It's not just for JavaScript. It's uh, versatile and widely used across different languages. It's like the Swiss Army Knife of Code editors. Oh, why the preference for VS Code, Supraja? What makes it uh, uh, go to for Playwright JavaScript scripting? Yeah, great question, Nadi. Uh, VS Code is known for its lightweight design speed and a treasure trove of extensions. It works seamlessly with JavaScript, making it a top pick. And uh, hey, it's developed by Microsoft, right? So, you know, it's got the backing of a tech giant. Oh, sounds impressive, Supraja. Uh, how can you install uh, Visual Studio Code on a Windows machine? It's pretty uh, pretty easy, Adi. First, head uh, head to the official VS Code website. Yeah, click download for Windows. Uh, is uh... yeah. Once it is done, you can um run the installer. Go to the downloads now. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, well, let me check. I think the yeah, it is completed now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay. So we can run it while mm -hmm. running. Follow the prompts of the installation wizard. Yeah, accept the agreement. Yeah, click next. Yeah, click next. Click install. Yeah, you're good to go now. Right, once it is done, everything will be fine. Yeah, sure, Supraja. Yeah. So, after that, once it is done, right, um, you can find VS Code in your start menu. Yeah, click finish. Fine. So you're already set with uh, uh, VS Code, right? So how can you install the Playwright inside Visual Studio Code to enable Playwright functionality uh, directly within the editor? So it's like uh, installing Playwright with Visual Studio Code is a game changer. Let's break it down step by step. It's simple enough. Uh, start by creating a new folder in a directory of your choice. Yeah, this is where our Playwright uh, magic will happen. Now let's open it in uh, Visual Studio Code. Let me let me create uh, just a bit. So what's the next move? Yeah, then go to File. File and open folder. Yeah, locate and open the folder we just created, right? Yeah, so now nice. uh, how do we do that within VS Code? 
yeah now let's bring in the terminal uh, within vs code go to view terminal Yeah, this will open up the terminal right now, which is the command center for what comes next, okay? Uh, time to bring in the playwright. Um, How do we install it using NPM Supraja? Yeah, in the terminal, uh, type NPM init space playwright at latest uh, within, yeah. It should be, yeah, plus enter. Right, when prompted, you can choose TypeScript by pressing enter. Yeah, keep the default tests option for test location, click enter. And say yes, click enter. Uh, yeah, to GitHub Actions and Playwright Browsers installation. Yeah. Mm. Uh, nice setup, Suprajar. Now, how do we make sure everything is in place? What's the next step? Yes, you can do that. Uh, verify that the directory structure is as it should be after the playwright installation uh, process. Make sure everything is in order. Okay. Yeah, actually, it's installing. I now, it's let's a... write our uh, uh, first playwright co code. How do we launch yes, it? Uh, just a minute. Uh, okay, yeah, I got the playwright structure, directory structure here. Uh, very it's good. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Fine. So now, are we ready to write uh, our first playwright code? Uh, how do we launch a browser? Yes, yes. Yes, Supraja. Yeah, okay. Um, so opening VS Code again, uh, create a new file, uh, save it with a meaningful name. Yeah, and the right extension, like uh, spec.ts for TypeScript. So now um, copy the provided playwright uh, test code, I mean, to launch the browser. Yeah, Adi, you can now copy the provided playwright test code to you and paste it into the file and save. Paste it here yeah, and save it. Got the code in place, Supraja. Now, how, how do we run it? Head back to the terminal. Uh, make sure to get into the test folder. Make sure to get into the test folder. Are you there right now? Yes, sir. I'm just getting into it. Yeah. Right. And run NPX Playwright test and your file name spec.ts and press enter. Right, so this will execute the playwright test. And there you have it, uh, Adi, your play, first playwright uh, script in action. Fantastic, Supraja. That was a smooth ride. Uh, thanks for walking us through it, uh, Supraja. And to our viewers, happy coding with playwright in Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Until next time. Absolutely. Enjoy your playwright journey. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe uh, to TestLeap channel for more tech insights. See you in the next one. Thank you.